Hi there, welcome to Nonsense Whiskey. My name's Vin PF and welcome to this special Christmas episode. <coughs> Hold on a second, this isn't right. Wait a second, I know. Hi there, welcome to Nonsense Whiskey. My name's Vin PF and this is my special Christmas Day episode 2017. Today I'm going to be checking out some Christmassy style whiskies that I got in a set last year from my subscription service to the Dram Team. Again, this is not a sponsored video by the Dram Team and no way endorsed by them. I'm a paying customer and I just think their service is brilliant. And these five came together in the set for last Christmas and it's taken me a whole year to get around to even looking at them. So these are going to be Drams that I uh, can't really do a full review on because getting whole bottles of them is quite difficult for me anyway because of the amount of whiskey I have to buy for the channel but um, they are all near enough readily available for most people for a decent price. We're going to go through these and they're kind of meant to be Christmassy style whiskies that will give you that flavours of Christmas like oranges and things like that. Let's go through one by one and see what we've got shall we. First of all we have the Glen Murray Port Finish 40% about £25 a bottle which is bargain it's uh, their normal stock but then aged in for eight months in their kind of port casks export casks as you can see it gets well maybe you can't see but it's got ever, ever so slightly peachy kind of colour to it but for me it smells like it smells like their whiskey which is good I don't detect much port in it though to be honest I'm not a big fan of port actually even at Christmas but for me I wouldn't guess that was port if I didn't know but on the palate there's a slight twang of it that's for sure if you're looking for it it's there but it's that classic kind of Glen Murray and space side kind of flavors coming together it's certainly an easy sipper put it that way mm, it's pretty great easy to drink 25 pound you can't complain at that at all where I am in the Midlands in the UK it's super easy to get it's always on the shelves in my local Sainsbury's and things like that so uh, maybe I should be looking into getting some bottles of those let's move on to the next one next up we have technically not a whiskey it's kind of a whiskey infusion a whiskey liqueur Woo! Jesus it's the uh, compass box orangery 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 I don't know orangery yeah it is Jesus this is their kind of special Christmassy one it's like super thick and viscous oranges and cloves and all sorts of stuff I mean the last one is, is was nice but this is this is um, kind of getting on for Christmassy smells for me. Let's have a taste. I've never tried this before. Oh my, that is that is orangey. They're not lying, that's for sure. Oh, God, on top of that, you're getting it's like there's cloves in there, very Christmassy indeed. It's meant to be cassia bark in there as well, but I don't know what that tastes like, so I don't know if I'm tasting it or not. Wow. This one's 40%. So I did, the smell really distracted me then. This one's 40% and around £40. So it's a little bit more expensive than the previous. But it's like, it's not quite chocolate orange, that's for sure, but it's definitely orange. Okay, I'm going to need to um, smell some coffee before I move on to the next one, I think. There we go. Okay, third on my list, or at least on the Dram Team's list, shall we say, is the Lost Distilleries. And this is the uh, Jericho Christmas Pudding. And it's supposed to be after their kind of nether Jericho distillery. It was closed in the early 19th century, no, sorry, early 1900s in fact, 19th century, because it's too hard to get to. But this is supposed to be in their style this is the kind of uh, their Christmassy version of it. I'm swilling it around quite a lot, but I'm just trying to pick up a lot more of their flavours. This one's a little higher in ABV, which is the order I'm going in here. 44.8%. 
but it's also about 40 quid or was I should say at least I think you can still pick it up on some websites but it was what limited edition so I'm not sure if it's that easy to get hold of anymore oh it's thick it's viscous there's kind of there are some slight orangey notes to it but I wonder if that's just because I've come straight back off that or and orangery orangery <laughs> that's a really hard word to say but it's sugary it's it's sweet it's marzipan mm. for me it's not quite that kind of really strong Christmas pudding flavors but the extra ABV really does give it a kick mm. it's quite nice it's quite nice so far, probably the second Christmassy out of the two, the orange one, definitely winning out there. I'm gonna have to cleanse again. These are really quite strong flavored ones. <clears throat> Next on the list, going up in ABV now, this is a 50 percenter, the Aaron Madeira cask finish. It's a normal refill oak and then finished in a Madeira wine cask until the master distiller says it's okay. This one's only a little bit more expensive than the other two as well, maybe sort of £42 at the moment, but you can get hold of this quite readily. <clears throat> now on the nose, it's kind of classic scotch, I think. Classic scotch, that's a really stupid thing to say, but you know, it's like, it's not like, it's, it's not a, a new flavour like some of these two are trying to be. It's, it's, you'll be right at home if you like your scotch, especially if you like Aaron. Let's try. Oh. oh, blimey, that's got a, a real tingle on the uh, on the old finish there as well. But it's super thick, nice and viscous. I like that, it's like a little bit soupy. But it's, um, I think the real winner for me is the ABV on that one, because I really do like strong whiskey. It's like a good example of, um, if they released it at 40%, I probably wouldn't like it. But that is really quite nice, and for for the forty quid that they're asking for it, you get a lot of alcohol for that. Pretty good. Okay, time for the big one. Literally, Big Pete. This is the Christmas twenty sixteen. I've been sitting on this one for a while. Douglas Lang do Big Pete, and they do a Christmas version every year, and they have done since twenty thirteen. Now they're on the 2017. You can't get hold of the 2016 anymore. This is the bottle for the 2016. But the 2017 is out now and it's about sort of 56 pounds. It's quite a lot, but it's 54.6%. The standard one goes a bit less, a bit 48%, but it's also about 48 pounds. So I think they're charging by the ABV by the sound of it, but it's got a really good kind of Firesidey, peaty kind of smell to it. Sweetness to be had. I would put my put my money on that it's an hard bag. But I've been wrong before. Mm. On the palate, it's classic Isla. You know, it's. Well, it's not say classic Kalila. It's not Lafroigi. Maybe Kalila. It's always Kalila. <laughs> We're getting smoky, but not ashy. Burnt, but not like not old burnt. Not like new, like the next morning bonfire kind of burn. It's like fresh burnt. It's um, it's really quite nice, and it's. Big Pete, I was expecting a bit more of a punch, but maybe that's just because I'm getting around to really liking Isla stuff now. It's really quite good. Having said that, it's over my £50 threshold, which I will buy whiskey over 50 quid, but it'll have to be it'll have to be super good. This is good, but super good. Hmm. Reduce the price a little bit and I'll be all over it. Hmm. It is good, it is good, and it's great for that kind of firesidey feeling, you know, like at Christmas when you're sitting around, 
fire on, telly on, whatever. Nice. Well, there you go, there's a quick look at some Christmassy whiskies brought to you by the Dram team. This was their pick for the 2016. They might even do another box this, this month. I haven't received it just yet, so here these are. Hope you, uh, if, you've, if you've tried these, do let me know what you think, especially the, uh, the Big P, and I think my um, next favourite might well have been the, uh, the Jericho Christmas pudding. It was nice. Not sure about that, the uh, whiskey infusion, but um, a bit too orangey for me, but it was the most kind of Christmassy tasting. A bit strong on the old orange, but you know, if you like that kind of thing, why not? I hope you guys have a lovely Christmas. Thank you for joining me on Christmas Day. It's been an absolutely fantastic year and I can't wait to show you what I've got in store for next year. Do consider subscribing to the channel, like the content. Of course, check out some more stuff just here and I'll see you again on another No Nonsense Whiskey video.